Um, why do you think people gravitate to controversial characters? Because they need heroes. They need something to believe in. They need someone to refer themselves to. If you're a simp of a man, you've got bitch tits. You understand? You look at someone like Andrew Tate, nicely shaven head, cool Louis Vuitton glasses, extra small t-shirt on a large body. Mm. Gives you inspiration. He's so, a controversial. It gives you something to believe in because when your girl is at home telling you to shut the fuck up and she's slapping you around the head and you've got no motivation, you see, I need, I need to find something. You go and look at Andrew Tate and you go home and you say, listen, don't talk to me like that no more because you start wearing the tank tees and you shave your head. You, you need to believe in something. It's hero syndrome. So it gives you a bit of confidence. Yeah. What, you're well, what movie is a movie without a bad guy? All right. You can't have a good guy without a bad guy. And where do girls gravitate to? Well, the bad guy, probably. There you go. <laughs> uh, do you think controversial characters contribute positively or negatively to society? I think they do both. All right. They do both. Are they, are they normally quite positive or normally negative? I think it depends on what you, you classify as positive because, I mean, let's say, for example, drill artists, K Trap, I think he's a positive influence. In which way? In the sense of he's giving, you know, he, when you listen to some of his speeches, podcasts and so on and so forth, he right. always talks about, you know, reinvesting, you know, maintaining a sense of self-worth, owning your own, mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> keeping it within your business, doing things independently, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. if you want to look at it from a negative aspect, he's talking about, you know, Busting a thing in your hand, trembling and all them kind of things. It depends on how you're looking at it and your views and perspectives. But Yeah, and where the money comes from. But you think about his records are selling. Why are they selling? It's what people want to hear, right? It's people what, what they want to hear. And there's also people that are pumping money into it. We all have that gene in us. We want to believe in something. We need to attach ourselves to something. So uh, what do you think about, about drug dealing? And, you know, how they're kind of praised in maybe black community and music? I think they've been put into that community for a purpose to devalue us. To, to devalue us. We're not giving enough exploitation to other sectors of things. For example, you know, trading only came into the black community at a certain time, or generational wealth in terms of Black Pound Day and properties and all these things. We've, you know, most times when the black people were growing up, we just wanted to be footballers, musicians, and so on and so forth. So. The drugs also being pulled into that actress, which was kind of like, yeah, you know, giving people way out of the hood, which mm. is all farmed anyway. It's all farming, programming, keeping people in certain brackets for a purpose. Well, even, even the labels and... and yeah, kind man, of the labels make money from that. The, the, yeah. the, the labels are the biggest. I mean, who was it saying it the other day? Meek Mills was saying it. There's certain amounts of music that will only sell when they're positive because they put more money into idolizing the big asses, the chains, the cars, the, you know, shooting people in the head, one of them kind of things. It makes money. Mm. It's profit. Would you, um, would you look at yourself as a controversial character? Yeah, why not? I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm a bad guy, I would say I'm real. So if you want to hear the truth, I'll tell you the truth. Fair enough. I don't care if I'm liked, I don't care what you think it is what it is. Um, do you think social media should silence more of these people then? Or do you social think, do you think they're kind of needed in, on social media? Social media is giving people that don't have a voice the opportunity to feel like they're in control and silencing people. Do mm. you, you, you get what I mean? Cancel culture was made by people to, to do their... It's, it's a new sense of witch hunting, jungle justice. It serves its purpose to some degree. Like, for example, that guy that was... Um, um, I don't want to say it wrong, molesting or doing what he was doing with that schoolgirl. And luckily for someone filming, for someone filming him and the, everybody was able to push that narrative around and he was quickly comprehended and arrested and um, justice was served. Um, what do you think of freedom of speech? Do we still have it? Nah. Freedom of speech is, is, is fake. <laughs> it's, 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 it's tapped. It's what like way? a safe box. The moment you start going out, you get a little shocked to go back into the lane. 
And that's what they showed you with people like Andrew Tate, Kate, Katie Hopkins and all these other people. You start going a bit too far, they... So it's, they it's, just, it's almost like... You, it's a ceiling. Yeah. And then, and then what? Then the cancel culture comes in. No, there's only one cancel culture and that's corporate cancel culture. Yeah. This, the urban cancel culture is, is fake. Why? Because there's always somewhere where you can express yourself. Come on. Right. Come on. Like, yes, I believe certain people should be removed. Cancel, what does cancelled mean? What does your opinion mean? You, the people that are even doing the cancelling, God knows what they get up to. God knows, because boy, if I went to your house, I'd see all kinds of shit. Mm. So be careful. Don't throw stones if you live in a glass house. <laughs>